Okay, we're just now here at the 500. It's uh, about 7.20 in the morning. The sun's coming up over the track. Waiting on Jerry. He's in the John right now. We're fixing to go through the tunnel. Not too many people here yet. Probably trying to park, $50 parking. We're in front of the Daytona USA. We'll be back later. All right, we're walking in. We just walked through the tunnel. Jerry's out of the bathroom now. We got crap. <laughs> and we are not lost yet. We just got here. We ain't had time to get lost yet. We'd be wise to stop, man. All right, we're walking down. Stretch with nobody in the stands quite yet. But we know that will be. It's still only eight o'clock. Three hours and a half to race time. All right, we are in the pit area here. Not sure where we're going yet. We're still a walking. Trying to look around, see if I see anybody I recognize. Still nobody here, but there's the. Yeah, to ask What I did that for. All right, this is where all of them come in and get fuel. 450 octane. I don't know, 110 octane.
find it, Jerry. We'll get you on some of these pictures. We can go up in there if we want to, but the guy asked me a little while ago for a 916 wrench. I didn't have one. Uh-oh, we're getting set on.
there is like a carry man. Here's the map of. Huh? Here's the map of Michael Waltrip.
tell them to be careful. Tell them to run over my shoes. <laughs> Just stay out there go like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my host. That's right?
Gordon's been trying to cheat here. Bring his car back to inspection again. Not sure why he would try to cheat. But for some reason they got him in here. Yeah, I told you he was trying to cheat. Talk guy over here now.
most famous words in motorsports, the Grand Marshal of the 43rd Daytona 500, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of United Parcel Service, Jim Kelly. On behalf of the 350,000 UPS employees around the world, gentlemen, start your engines! to the outside lane. He has fourth, but that could be short-lived as the draft warms up down low. Three wide to his inside, Andy Houston in the middle, and here comes Mike Wallace down low. Mike Wallace handling so very well. He's there alongside Strader to battle for fourth. The front three got a car length and a half on that fourth place battle off the corner. Wallace drives that forward right down the bottom line of the track off turn number four, gets a car in the wall on turn number four. finish line this time. Caution is on the speedway. It will be Jeff Purvis who brushed the wall up there in front of Eli Gold. Couldn't tell if he had any help or not, Eli. No, awfully so close, Barney. I mean, a quarter of an inch, you can have help between that and not. But he just bounces off the wall. And what a weekend for Purvis after yesterday's problems, leading so much of the Napa 300. And now here today, they just ran out of racing room off turn four. Purvis started back in the 17th position, was running about 25th at the time when the incident occurred. Again, tagging the wall off turn number four. And the caution flag waves for the first time this afternoon. We told you we were coming up on green flag pit stops. Now it will be pit stops under the caution as the field comes back to the start and finish line. is Tony Stewart, Brett Bodine is 32nd, Kyle Petty 33rd, Buckshot Jones is 34th, Bobby Hamilton in 35th, Terry Labonte in 36th, Elliot Sather is 37th, Johnny Benson is 38th, Dale Jarrett 39th, 40th is Bobby Labonte, 41st Bill Elliott, 42nd Jeff Purvis, and 43rd Rusty Wallace. Napa Auto Parts, for NASCAR fans get their parts. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the MRN Radio, the voice of NASCAR. working the first caution flag of the afternoon. Not really a major incident. It was for Jeff Purvis. He scrubbed the wall coming off turn number four and has brought out the yellow flag as they bring the safety trucks out to see if he dropped any debris on the racetrack. Just about everybody except Rusty Wallace will go to pit road. Just about everybody being the leader. Mike Stinner, Casey Atwood, Ward Burton, Mike Wallace, Kenny Schrader, Andy Houston, Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, and Jeff Burton, and Jeremy Mayfield, the top ten. They're in the pits. Let's come out with Kelly. Well, and rushes on Mike Skinner, the first on the second
battle for third place in turn one. Just Dodge trying to go inside of Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet. The Pontiac of Ken Schrader is also there behind Earnhardt. Here's Marlin hugging the inside lane of turn two with Earnhardt to his outside. Early okay. Marlin looks over both shoulders and sees no one behind him. Marlin has no key. Uh -huh. Earnhardt takes over the right. Jason Wepper in a 01 car. Tracy Thompson in the 92. And that was the outside front row at the start. Now you know real well off out of that draft and hit mid row. Let's go down to Wissy Kelly. Four tires stop for Earnhardt. He stays Oh, 
line this time. Ward Burton leads by about a foot over Sterling Marlin, Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Another pit stop to the Kellogg Chevrolet of Kerry Labonte. Not a good day for that Chevrolet team at all. Not up in the front running at any time. He is being listed 38. 24 Chevrolet. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s eight machine still up running. Ricky Rudd, one of the Fords up front along with Bush in the top ten. He's running six. Steve Park comes over to one Chevrolet seven. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Ricky Rudd's machine is six. Once again, down into turn number one. The Caterpillar Tractor, number 22. The Dodge Machine, changing makes this year. Ward Martin, South Cross, the Virginia, the Burton Brothers. And he's the man of the moment. Three wide, up in turns one and two. Again, we'll have to 200 to make today's on the 500. In the record book, it almost looked like the last six or eight laps around here, they were taking pace laps getting ready to start the race. It was two by two all the way from the front of the field, all the way to the back. Ward Burton continues to lead from Daytona International Speedway. This is MRN Radio. The Ward Burton waiting to challenge from Sterling Martin in the board of Silver Blue, White, Dodge, Storm, all day. Kurt Busch has been up to the front. in the Chevrolet squad and the 31 those four Chevrolets look like they might be teaming up to do the work on the Dodgers and the four up in front of the top three. Earnhardt goes up to fourth now. Oh boy that's a pinch. Coming up into turn number three and four the middle line wants to move down and there's already a line of cars down here and that makes for no room to go so they have to get as close as possible almost four wide coming down now and once again, Ricky Craven was just Further up, challenge for the lead. Ward Burton breaks the ball right through in third. Sterling may be able to get in line in fourth. No, he's climbing the banking too high. And Skinner covers the spot. Bottom lane in turn number two if he wants to improve his position. He's underneath Rudd. He gets past him. Now Stewart side by side. Incredible racing here at Daytona this afternoon. Transmission ATV. There were some 10 finalists narrowed down last year to three, and Richard gave the command earlier today to start your engine. And Eugene Limery fired up. His Polaris got him making, got him an instant million dollars. Not a bad day, and not a bad. But again, the front three for the moment pulling away. We're just sitting here in the tower talking among ourselves about the move that Dale Earnhardt's been making down to the apron of the racetrack. He goes so low coming down out of turn the strategy to play here this afternoon. Back at Daytona International Speedway, 50 laps to go in the Daytona 500, and some cars are on pit road. Now two pit lanes brought to you by McDonald's drive through This is Kelly. All three make the car to the Dodge with Sterling Marlin and Chevrolet. They are hard up for here this afternoon. And uh, Joe, you're talking about Kyle Petty stopped. He barely slid through his pitch stall, so that's going to cost him a little bit of time. Barry Dodson and the crew leading the charge on Kenny Wallace's stop. He's going to pull out in front of Robbie Ford. Looks like Ron Hornet got his car in just a bit sideways. He's having to ease it back out. That's going to cost him. Thank 
cars here all day long. And our stall on pit road a moment ago, and it's still sitting down there. Last year, I've had to win the Daytona 500. Turn one. 
We have to turn it over to Dale Earnhardt Sr. who is... Earnhardt Sr. hanging on to second. Enterprises that I think I'm going to win some races this year. Well, today, he's out front single file by himself. Everybody's for the moment. Back in one. Here he comes back into the corner. Jeff Gordon is right behind him at the second spot. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Field the shot. Him. Kurt Busch is behind the wall. He's running 39. There are four Dodgers now running in the top 20 with 32 laps to go in the Daytona 500. Everybody's game now out of taking over down in the West Bank by Jeff Gordon. Strong Chevrolet run. Bobby changed three more times before they get back to the start finish line. 31 laps to go in the Daytona 500 from the Daytona International Speedway. This is MRN Radio. Got to be a barn burner going down to the end. Steve Fox managed to lead down to the inside. Michael Walker.
they have picked up over there along with Bill Elliott and also Sterling Marlin. Let's get a quick report from Jim Phillips. Yeah, that's the right one. All those tires ran in as a blue team. All of them took four tires. And 76 real great break for Sterling Marlin. He can get back in this race right now. And also for, uh, I believe, Michael Wallace uh, to get back in the uh, heat uh, All four of these uh, cars are running up to the lead side. Uh, this is great. Uh, the Ray Ebringham dog team uh, this year, and he sits in Ward, Ward sixth spot. Joe Nemechek in the 33 car. Uh, Let's put that Bobby, machine up into the hunt now. here for the finish. They are three for the day. They're going to check in the hospital. Oakwood Home Chevrolet. Renee, I'm sure you're watching this on TV and you don't tell me what happened. We are back at the Daytona International Speedway, 176 laps complete. They red flagged the race a moment ago.
Oh, there, there's the answer one or Well, it's his first victory, too, is a crew chief, Scott Eggleton, wins. State Road 33, exit 20. I-4 is clear from Daytona Beach west to Orlando. Please seek alternate routes if you are traveling west through Polk County on Interstate 4. Possible alternate routes are State Road 40 from Ormond Beach west to I-75 or yeah, State Road 60 from Beach I had a bag sitting right Beach here. I'm jumping around. Canada. I'm looking for it. Thank you. Somebody stuck it somewhere. My, my camera bag. I, I've been sitting here the whole race. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we would remind you to all our guests traveling west that due to the forest and brush fires west of Orlando, Interstate 4 is closed to all traffic in Polk County from US 27, exit 23, westward to State Road 33 and exit 20. I-4 is clear from Daytona Beach West. We're back at the Daytona Orlando. National Speedway where Michael Waltrip has won the 43rd running of the Daytona 500. A last lap crash involving Ken Schrader and Dale Earnhardt Sr. occurred up in... Oh, uh, Dale Jerry made it to the winner's circle, but uh, I called out an all-series camera bag. I'm back there panicking, arguing with security guards, and <laughs> turns out Jerry ran the whole time. We're going to talk about his first At least I didn't lose your bag, Jerry. Michael. 